I still remember this day like it was yesterday. I was at my uh, track and field event uh, for the Catholic school that I had went to. Now, it wasn't really any uh, like an organized thing. It was just everybody in the school participated the last few days of the year, of uh, the school year in track and field. And it's just so happened that there was an odd, odd amount of people that were participating in this particular event. And I was the last one, so I was the odd man out. And I had to do a race by myself. And I figured because I did this race by myself that I was immediately or somehow going to get uh, like an award for this, right? So after the event was done in the, the last couple of days and I hadn't gotten uh, this award and I went up to the nun because I went to a Catholic school and she's like, uh, or I said to her, uh, am I going to, when, when do I get my award for, uh, you know, winning my, you know, winning my race because I, I raced myself and she looked at me and she's like, Ryan, you couldn't outrun a piece of paper that was stuck to the ground. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never forget that in my life. I'll never forget her saying that. Uh, and I feel like a lot of men need to be told stuff like that. Okay. What I have been seeing over the last four or five years with men participating in women's sports is nothing short of just pathetic. And I can't believe that men, especially if they call themselves men, I don't know how you can call yourself a man and vote for the party that wants to propagate this to keep happening. And I don't know why women also are so into being replaced by men because you will never win in almost any circumstance, especially in a physical outlet in, against a man. You're, this is never going to happen. If you have even not even equally qualified men, you're not going to beat them, especially in sports. Like uh, what, what was her name? Serena Williams said that uh, she played like the 700th ranked tennis player and she got destroyed. She was the number one rank at that time and she got destroyed by like the 700th. Or I forget what it was. 100th. You know, like they were in the hundredth uh, ranked tennis professional on the male side. She got destroyed. Even this uh, this woman from the team uh, that has this uh, the volleyball team. I forget, what is it, San Diego? I think State or something like that has this Blair, whatever. Um, they don't want to play against him because how hard he spikes, he could in theory, knock one of them out or actually do worse uh, when he hits the ball. And why are we voting for a party, especially if you call yourself a Christian? Uh, you may call yourself a Christian, but you, I have, uh, G, you did not listen to what Jesus said. There is no mistakes made on this planet. There is no mistakes made at all. There's divine timing. There's divine everything, right? There is no mistakes. So those of you who are voting or even like okay with what's going on right now, I don't understand, nor do I want to understand where you're coming from. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I think this is a product of single parent homes. I think this is a product of people getting away from God, maybe not religion as much because religion, I have a little bit of a beef with religion at myself. They have become almost a government in, their, in and of themselves. And it's one of the reasons that this country was started. They were trying to get away from the rule in England of the church. And the church has kind of done the same thing in this country and every other country as it did in England and the reason they were leaving that whole region. It's even more disturbing that I see a lot of churches adopting trans days and stuff like that. Like that is not godly in any way, shape or form. Men are not speaking out about anything anymore because they are participating or they're, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're doing. I won't be a part participant in it. I won't be a participant in any of the uh, experiments, you know, that they have. I'm not participating in whatever it is, these agendas. And, you know, the more divided we become, the easier we are to tackle. And 
the number one thing that they want to do is take men out and emasculate them and turn them into whatever it is that they're turning men into these days. You can't call these men. These, like, What level of mental acuity do you have to be at to go play in women's sports? Like originally I thought it was just like dudes who wanted to see women naked maybe in the locker room or something like that. I have no idea. Maybe there was, maybe that was a thought behind it uh, or, or, or what their thought. Maybe they don't even have a thought process. Maybe they're funded. I have no idea. But even so, that's even more disgusting to me if they are funded uh, into doing this. That's, I mean, how pathetic are you? Like what level of ridiculousness are you are you at you know i know we're not supposed to judge anybody but this is just getting out of hand and now we got people like voting based just on this it has nothing to do with how much inflation and how, how nobody can afford living in this country anymore or the fact that we're giving billions and billions and billions of dollars away to other countries or the fact that uh, the homeless and Americans and the veterans and all that aren't taken care of in our own country, yet will foot the bill for uh, illegal immigrants coming in here to take over, right? That's the perfect fine and dandy. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll vote for all that kind of stuff. Like this would not have flown back in the day. They tried this kind of stuff back in the. 1920s, 1910s, 1930s, 1940s, people weren't buying it, right? So they had to dumb us down. They had to send us to university. This is why I really feel like this is why university was pushed so hard. How else are they going to uh, just brainwash everybody? And how many people who go to these colleges and universities actually use these de de degrees? And how often do you see people going into trades and stuff like that make way more money than people who went to like get a, like an eight year degree or something like that other in like unless you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever which why do we need that many of them you know it is a way of transforming people it's the old system the 12-step program which i probably can't even talk about on here even 12-step program probably uh will get me flagged and i think a lot of my videos already have gotten flagged seeing how only like 30 people see them it is ridiculous why why is this a thing why, how did this start how are we okay with it especially women like why would you be okay with this and i see women defending this like they should be allowed to do this like why 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 would you think that like why would you think that you know they claim to be feminists and yet they are okay with males taking over their sports it's going to get to the point of especially because there's a lot of money involved with this why would they even need women in the sports? Because you're never going to win. You're never going to win. So all they're going to start doing is if, if this keeps going like this, is it's going to be men who play on actual men's teams who are men and know that they're men. And then it's going to be uh, men who act like women, who pretend they're women on the female side of things. Uh, and so you're not going to be able to play athletics at all anymore, especially in Division One. You'll probably be like uh, down in like a new category, like Division Twenty or something like that. And that's where the women who spend all this time and effort, or you know, girls, women, females, who put all this effort into this uh, their sport of whatever sport they're going into, they already have a hard enough. Women already have a hard enough time trying to make money with that coming out as like professional. And now they're not even going to be able to do it at all because men are just going to completely take over. Uh, you know, whatever men didn't qualify for actual men's sports are going to be in the women's side of things. And you guys are going to be absolutely unneeded, completely unneeded. And this is what we're voting for. Why are we voting for that? I'm not voting for that. Well, you, why are you voting for that? I'm voting for the color, the shirt that I got on right now, obviously. Why? would this be a thing? Why would you do this? Why? I, you know, I can't even figure it out. How, what level, what did they do to you? And again, I go back to single family households, mostly mothers raising kids because they wanted to have a little fun. And all of a sudden they popped out kids. Dude doesn't want them anymore. He disappears. Uh, there's no men in the house. So he's not, you know, so then you got these like lady boys coming out, uh, you know, the crime rate has skyrocketed. If you look at single family households and uh, uh, when women raise it's terrible and as single family households when men raise it 
they actually have good results. And I'm not saying women are bad at all, so don't even take that away from this vi uh, vi uh, video even a little. I feel I'm confused as to why you would want any of this to happen or why you're willing to let it happen. And the only thing that I can think is you believed what they said in, in college and university, uh, you know, the single family households, because none of this, this would not have flown back when I was growing up, back in the 80s and 90s, never. These people, most people, matter of fact, these days would not make it in the 80s, would not make it in the 90s. <laughs> you all would not make it. it. It just wouldn't be a thing. It, it was just a different world. And this world that I live in right now, I don't recognize at all. You know, you did have like women dressing up as men and men dressing up for, for, as women for like Halloween or like as a spoof on a movie or, you know, like a play spoof or something like that. Yeah, of course you had that, but not to actually legitimately go play sports because you're too uh, pathetic to qualify in the men's, men's league. So you got to, you know, go take over somebody else's. It's like the, the highest form of bullying, really, which, you know, whatever about that. But it's just, if you're going to vote for this, and this is the only criteria that you're voting for, and you don't care about this country or everything else that's going on, I just don't know why. I just, I feel like you shouldn't even be allowed to vote, honestly. That's my opinion. If you are this ridiculous with your voting dollar, basically, that the only reason you're voting is for a couple, like, rep reproductive rights, which that one, was it like 99.67 or something like that of all uh, abortions are just because it's inconvenience to you. And, um, and, and this, this trans LGBT, whatever, whatever it is called. If that is your two biggest things that you're voting for, you have been completely sold a, a, a bill of goods that's absolutely no use to anybody. Nobody can use that bill of goods. Nobody wants it. The people who are selling it to you don't even want it. They're not doing any of it. Do you see any of these politicians uh, dressing up as the other gender? Do you see any of these politicians showing up to any of these events? Do you see, I mean, maybe they do. I, I don't know. But I've seen the church, uh, uh, some of the churches adopt it. I've seen uh, a lot of locals adopt. I've not, I'm sure it's happened, but I haven't seen too many politicians actually show up to any of these events that they claim that they care about. And yet you're voting for it. They don't care about it. Other than, you know, Obama's, I mean, that, that whole train wreck. You really got to look at, and you know, another thing is I, a lot of people are saying that they're going to be voting for, for this. And maybe they're even doing it out of peer pressure, but you got to vote for yourself. Like, do you really want cost to be this much? Apparently it's like $10 for 18 eggs. Now back when I ate eggs, it was like two 99 or like a dollar 99 or something like that for 18 eggs. Now it's like $10. Do you want, I mean, can you imagine what this is going to turn into if this keeps going, even not at a voting level? Even just at a hu humanity level, why is this something you're okay with on either side? You know, like you, you, you've got, like, say you do have daughters. Do you really want them to have to play against men who are going to beat them in everything? Everything. They're always going to lose. So what is their incentive anymore for even bothering with sport? There is none. The only, I was going to say, like, it might be a weightlifting uh you know, because that's kind of a singular thing. But even even men are playing women's roles in that now, too. <sighs> this got to stop. This has got to stop. I mean, we cannot keep having this. It's just, it's like they are trying to replace women. <laughs> and you guys are voting for it. They're trying to replace women and you guys are voting for it. You're okay with it. And even more pathetic is when these women's teams refuse to play teams that have men on them they get reprimanded by the schools that's paying their scholarship. They're going, they're supposed to be going to the school. They were told that they were going to be playing against women and they're not playing against women. They're playing against men. I mean, where does it stop? Where, where does it stop? It's got to stop at some point, right? Where is that? What does that look like? I just cannot believe that people are okay with this at all. And it's not godly in any way, shape or form. So those Christians, Christians, Christians in name only, out there who are claiming that they are okay with this.
are not Christians at all. They may know who Christ is or know that he's written in a book. Uh, my Bible's down there. I was going to pull up the Bible. That might scare some people. It has... It, it, <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm a woman. I mean, God didn't make mistakes. It just didn't happen. Like, there is no mistakes here. It's always the over-emotional gullibles that fall for some of this stuff. The easily controlled. And it's ruining it for the rest of us, really. It's something like 3 or 4% of people are gay. I'm not even going to list all this stuff. Are that group. The, confu the like so confused group that used to actually get medical treatment for uh, everything and now are just praised. They're used. You're being used essentially for a vote. That's all you're doing. You're, you're willingly being used for a vote and you're selling out yourself and you're claiming that you're Christian or whatever. And then the, the craziest part about this whole thing is this is the same people who are pro-Palestinian, the LGBTQ are for the Palestinians who would stone you for your beliefs. Make that make sense. <clears throat> the left is using this at, at so many different things and people just are like, what? It's, it's crazy. So that, yeah, whatever. I can, I can make a, an entire separate video about that. What are you thinking? And why is this the only voting criteria that you have? Anyway. Comments, questions should be fruitful in the bottom or below. And like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.